Now, in this question, we're asked to draw a couple of graphs, first of all, and then solve some equations. So we'll draw the graphs first because we can do that totally separately. So we've done this before, uh, y equals something. Uh, we always do uh, the number on its own is where it crosses the y-intercept. So I'm gonna do this in blue. In fact, if I draw a little blue rectangle around that, it shows you that it's gonna be blue on my graph. Crosses at six, because six is a number on its own. The rise over the run, Okay, the gradient is minus two, so when it goes across one, it goes down two, and across one and down two, across one, down two, there we go. And I'm gonna draw that line in. You'd be using a ruler, obviously. Okay, I've gotta go as best I can. There we go, all right? Now we don't know, okay, anything more about that, what we've gotta do with it, so we're just gonna leave that how it is. Now on the same set of axes, and you'll be given the axes in the exam, so on the same set of axes I'm going to draw this. Now, when the x's and y's are on the same side, what we tend to do is we find two points, naught something and something naught. Now we find the naught something by covering this bit up. So I've covered the x up and minus two y's makes two, so therefore y is negative one, and I'm going to plot that point straight away. So naught negative one, where are we? There we go. All right, so that's that point there. And um, when I cover the x, uh, sorry, the y bit up, I get what x is, and I get x equals two, so my other point is two, zero. And there are my two points, I'm gonna draw a line between them, okay? And it's gonna go about there and over there somewhere, okay? So there we go, there's my two lines drawn neatly on the graph. Now. If I look at this bit here, it says hence. Now, as soon as you see the word hence, you probably assume that you're gonna be using something that you've worked out before in the question. The only thing we've done in the question before is draw the two graphs. So we're probably gonna be using what we've done over here. Hence, solve the simultaneous equations and uh, y equals six minus two x and x minus two y equals two. In fact, I forgot to write an s on the end of equations. So I'll write an s there anyway. Okay, now. The solution to two simultaneous equations when they're drawn as graphs is the point at which they cross. So the point at which they cross are gonna be the solutions to my two graphs. So I'm gonna do the answer in green, and that is this point here, which I'm drawing a massive arrow to in green. This point here where the two graphs cross. Now, you'll notice, if you look very carefully, that actually they're not whole number answers, and actually that's what tends to happen in these sorts of questions. And normally you'd have this on graph paper, so it won't be a problem, you'll be able to read it really accurately, and you'll get a little bit of leeway, in, but only a very tiny bit, so you need to be as accurate as possible in the mark scheme. So, let's have a look at this. It's about 2.8-ish, 2.9 along the x, so I'm gonna put 2.8. And here it's gone up, it's not quite halfway, is it? So it's 0.4. Now, you could check the answers here by putting the values of x and y into one of these. And if you get if the right answer comes out and it all substitutes nicely, then you know you've got the right point here. Okay? So this is x and this is y. And you might be asked to put, they might have x equals dot dot dot, y equals dot dot dot. So you put 2.8 there and you put 0.4 for y. Okay, so simultaneous equation solution is where the two graphs cross. Okay, Mary, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own, so I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done. Well done.